Hi guys, John with you again, and this time, this time we're just doing a quick update, an update on the British 25 pounder field gun and quad tractor Canadian Ford FGD. It's kit number 044, uh, put a 35 before that for Tamiya with the uh, 135th scale, and it's, as I said, it's from Tamiya, so that's just the box. And let's have a look at how far we've got. Right, um, let me just use this little thing for starters because it's nice and clean. Okay, we started off, we did the quad gun tractor. I had it ready for painting, uh, or I had it ready for the uh, putting the glass and things and the painting on the inside, which I've um, which I've all done now. The inside of that is painted. The uh, the glass is all masked off, so it's ready for its outward coat. Every, everything because I've been just you know, that's a to be, be painted separately, and so is this little tar. But I got the bottom section already painted up, as you can see. With this, the uh, bit with the, 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 the engine and the, the drive, basically, and the exhaust and stuff so I've that painted up already and done and weathered which came out very very nice very very nice indeed um that's just that section beautiful work and you won't see all of it but anyway it's there so it has to be done uh that's the quad gun tractor part already for uh paintings as we said and where's the rest of it you said? It's over here. Right. Behind the quad gun tractor you've got the ammunition limba. A lumba. Limba I think it's called. Uh, the only thing on that is I haven't the wheels glued in place yet. Excuse me, because I want to get them painted separately. Just so I can get in behind them. And so I can get in here and paint them as well. Everything else can be painted in situ. Uh, there's not much detail at the bottom, but still it's got the detail that is actually there in the yoke. Uh, I presume there are brakes, I'm not 100% sure, but that looks like the brake there. So, what there is, I do not know. Um, that there's the brake there, should I say. This, it, it's a lovely, 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 lovely kit. It really, really is. Everything fits together nicely. Everything is nicely moulded. Yeah, okay, you got a bit of clean up. You got a bit of clean up with everything really, model these days. Uh just the seam line. Um once you clean up the seam line, that's it. There's very little flash on them. Apps practically no flash in the whole kit. Uh what was there wasn't worth writing home about so I won't not even bother. Um there's the like I said, there's the limber number. That's that bit done. And the 25 pounder itself is in the same situation as in the, the only thing that's not glued on are the wheels. Uh, like I said, because I want to get them painted separately, and it's easier to get in and out of these areas here with the wheels done. Now, the detail inside this is absolutely fabulous, really, really is. It's very, very nice detail whatsoever. Um, as you see with this one, I um, I rounded off the just behind the um, the breech there. Took the counterweight off to be sanded off because it was bolted on like. But it came off grand, came off nice and easily. Uh, counterweight isn't on this version. Uh, the breech opens and closes. So you can have it in an open or a closed position. Um, oops, straighten up that there slightly. I didn't do the sight because, to be quite honest with you, I don't know how to get a go about making it. I really, really don't. Um, and where would it go? I know it, it goes up here somewhere, but it gets it get mounted there, there, there. I've looked at reference photos, and I just can't figure it out from there. What I, I could figure out was... It, it, mounts onto there and straight looks straight out there but all it is is just a tube um if that's what it is 
it's just a kind of a tube that mounts there but then it wouldn't be straight I, this would have to be removed you know so I said leave well enough alone and, and, and leave it at that I'd be happy with that anyway um, there's the gun it's as I like I said it's up and up, it's fully up and downable and the uh, recoil is back and forwardable <laughs> There you go, my best in English, back and forwardable. Right, um, there's, there's, there's not really much you can more, you can say about it. That it's just it's just lovely detailed, beautiful fit. Uh, would I recommend it to people? Of course, I wouldn't recommend it as a first kit because there are a few tricky parts in it. Um, it's just it's delicate in parts, and you know. When you're, when you're doing your first kit you, you want to be kind of uh, you want something that will fall together and there's nothing going to be break be offable so that's my update for this my next step now for that is to get it primed uh, unrecorded highlighted painted weathered um, it's not going to be overly weathered um, I'm just doing it on a, a long display board which I've got to you know, get my hands on because I have to wait until I put it together to measure the whole length of the thing um, so I need a board now that's uh, what's it work out? 17 inches, 17 inches in length, just a board, a, little, a plank will do, just wide enough to, to just a little bit, but I want it about say, two inches wider either side than that, so um, what would that be, that would be, let's say, two inches, blah, 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 two inches, yeah, um, be about uh, what six inches wide altogether so six inches by 17 inches I must get myself a piece of uh, lumber <laughs> lumber for the limber anyway let's that's it that's my update for the uh, the uh, 25 pounder and quad gun tractor it's for the Operation Torch group build. Um, I'll be doing a group build update during the week, and of course, will be the uh, on Monday. I'll be doing my bum. So, there you go, lads. Catch you up in the next one. Stay safe. Be nice to each other. Don't forget my motto: go out and buy a kit and build it. And um, don't forget like and subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and hit the like button. Thank you.